Hey y'all, I'm a hot royal one. Welcome to Vlogtober day three. Okay, now I just had two whole mishaps of me trying to tape. One, I'm talking about Vlogmas day. Oh, I think I started early because I'm pre-taping. Y'all know I ain't never on time for anything, right? Well, because I'm pre-taping, I'm like, oh, this is my third video and it's only the second. Maybe I started on the 30th by mistake. No. I'm just a hot royal mess. Then I click on to fix that and I'm talking about, uh, welcome to vlog, vlog miss <laughs> again, right? I'm sorry, y'all. I messed up. No, I still messed up. So now I'm starting all over again. Welcome to vlog miss day, mm -mm, vlogtober, day three. Y'all, I got a couple things I'm going on today. Today, I think I'm up, um, later on, I'll turn y'all on to do the uh, framing of those pictures I told y'all I'm going to be working with in the bathroom and some other ones. Um, but right now, I wanted to tell y'all, Hobby Lobby, no, you'll, it'll be over by the time you see this, but, um, I went and did some pantry restocking, because changing out, building my pantry, you see the wood, building up that pantry, I said, you know what, I'm gonna get mostly new, um, spices, some that I had just recently got, I kept, but, and then some other items, too, you know, I did keep, but I've pared down, so I gotta go do a big shop. I got a delivery coming from Amazon today with a couple things. But anyway, I'm going to show y'all what I got from Dollar Tree. Do Dollar Tree has... Now, I know a lot of people are saying that Dollar Tree is going up in price. They are talking about that. But they've done that a while ago. They still they have from $1 to $5 is what their prices are. We've already had those super stores here. So it doesn't bother me. Most of their stuff is still a dollar. It's just the um, higher end things. I didn't get anything that was more than that. Oh, remember the t-shirts I showed y'all like a week ago, a week and a half? A lot of you guys are commenting you liked my um, Scooby-Doo and um, whatever the other one was. They're $5. So Dollar Tree just has those. A lot of people, a lot of places hadn't gotten those stores yet. That's what that is. But anyway, these are a dollar. Bumblebee Albacore. So that's the pure white, chunk white tuna. I love Albacore. And it's in water. And, um, so it's a lot, you know, I mean, I like oil, but I'm just going to do the right thing and get it in oil, I mean, in water. I got three of these to a stack, and I, I think I already have, like, three. So that'll be enough to, um, for right now, but I do want to get some more. Okay? And then, y'all, this is my sin. This is one of my sins, these noodles. I got the hot and spicy shrimp. This was a dollar. I like to catch these on sale. You can get these for, like, 75 cent, 80 cent at Walmart. But I picked it up because I was in Dollar Tree. These, I was able to get these for $0.29 cent a pack on Amazon. They didn't have them this week, so I got a three-pack for a dollar. Y'all, these things come in clutch when you do not feel like fixing lunch and you've been in the house all day. Boil up some water, put it in there, fold down the lid, and I swear you got some quick soup. I know it may not be the healthiest. It's high in sodium, but I don't have a problem with sodium. My body can use some sodium, so I'm good with that. Then, Dollar Tree also had Tony, whatever his name is. It's not Tony. Yes, it is. Tony Catcheries. The Creole seasoning. And this one says, makes everything taste great. Creole seasoning. It's not the seafood blend. But I got that. A dollar. Everything I got was a dollar. They also had Kingsford Cajun seasoning. You know the Kingsford Barbecue? This is spicy, spicy Louisiana classic. So I got two spicy Louisiana things. I got whole leaf, I mean a whole bay leaves. It's that time, it's that time fall come, that's when bay leaves come out. When you hear me, soup, stews, beans, anything. So I got, I picked up that. And then I got red uh, crushed pepper flakes. I love these <laughs> on anything too. And I got some parsley flakes. Again, it's that time of year where you're starting to cook, you know. Y'all, let me tell you about lemon pepper. I got two of these, right? Love me some lemon pepper. Two of these. And this brand is not bad. It is a little, the sodium is a little high, so you better look at your, um, yeah. It's 220 milligrams. So, I, but you know what? I don't use a lot of seasoning for a quarter of a teaspoon. So, I got two of these because I go through it pretty fast. Um... I got minced garlic and forgot I had just got one from Walmart. It's in the refrigerator. I opened it last night. 
So I got minced garlic um, for them lazy days. I got two jars of mushrooms. And these are um, pieces and stems. These are the best. When you're in a pinch and you don't have fresh... I do have fresh mushrooms, so these will be stocked in the pantry. And um, But squeeze... Take them, I take them out. I rinse them out of this brine that they have them in. And then I squeeze them in paper towels to get them really dry. And they, I'm telling you, throw them in spaghetti or any kind of sauce or steak and onions and whatever. Um, they, they're delicious. So I got two of those. I got garlic powder. I got paprika. They didn't have smoked pep paprika, so I got to get some smoked paprika. Um, I got... Garlic pepper, they had this big jar, but here's the trick, y'all. It don't it's only filled to here. <laughs> they had this big thing, so it's 12 ounces for a dollar. This wasn't even marked up because of that size. So now, wait, oh I'm I'm should get to this, finish this. Then I got this one. I like the seasoning. This is a complete seasoning. So this is pretty good from Dollar Tree. When I've got this, when I couldn't find the one I'm going to show you from, um, this is a complete seasoning. It got onion, garlic, all kinds of crap in here. Parsley. I can't read it, y'all. You know my eyes ain't the best. It got all kinds of stuff in here, and it's by that Badia, 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 somebody, uh, okay? It's by that brand. And this was from Dollar Tree. So it was a dollar, right? And then I got... Two things of A1 steak sauce from Dollar Tree for a dollar. A1 steak sauce, y'all. You think I ain't packing these in that pantry? Yes, indeed. And then um, I got Heinz 57, too, because I like both. And just so happens I'm having steak tonight. So I got some ribeyes I'm going to have. That, a dollar. Heinz 57. These are 15, wait, five ounces. These are five ounces. So they're good. This is a couple meals for me. More than a couple of meals. I don't use a lot of steak sauce. And the A1 is five ounces too. So I got two of each. Then they had this teriyaki marinade. I'm going to try this on some chicken. I'm going to make some chicken teriyaki. Teriyaki chicken. I'm going to try it. And see, I have never tried it. I picked it up. It was a buck. I was like, well, it's the same brand. Supreme Traditions. Okay. Then I got Trusty Dusty. Um, trash bags, the vanilla scent. I like these. I like them now. I don't love them anymore because Dollar Tree. Oh my goodness, y'all! The cups, the coffee cups, they're trash. Y'all know I swore by those foam. You get five in a pack. Now you get four in a pack. In the lid, you could hold it up to the light and see through it. They are really cutting back on their prices. They are. So if the prices do go up, go up, I wouldn't be shocked. I mean, they've been a dollar for Eon since they started. And I mean, I've been shopping the Dollar Tree. It has to have been around at least 30 years. So, um, yeah. But they had puffs. A dollar. Puffs tissues. I only got one. And then I kicked myself when I got outside. Because I was like, girl, it's that season. You know you're going to need some more. So the next time I go back, I'm trying. I'm going to get me about four of these to pack away. Um, and then I got, let me show you all my little stuff. See, I'm like, this is going to be a whole video. I got this lip gloss. This is a matte, and it's in the color supple. It's a matte velvet. So, let me show you real quick, because I opened them to see. This one, it's like a matte. I got this one, and this is supposed to be a plump. I don't like it. It makes your lips feel like you got black pepper on it. Not red pepper, not any other kind of pepper, but black pepper. It's that sensation of black pepper. I'm not fond of it because it didn't do nothing to plump. It just gave me like a little black, black, black pepper was on my lips. I wasn't fond of that. I tried it. This I really like. This is nice and um, that color is nice and it's a stay on. It's a matte. Really nice. I like that one. And this one is, I don't know y'all what color this is. It's called Keeper. And I got some, y'all, my back has been killing me. I haven't took medicine for my back. I had to get some ibuprofen. Oh, I don't know what it is. And I got three of these because, again, these are tear tray fillers for me. So, DIY stuffy. And I've been using a lot of that in the house. 
Yo, I showed these on yesterday's video, right? So, these came from Hobby Lobby. They were $4.99 with 40% off. They're Christmas tree ornaments. Avocados. Who puts avocados on a Christmas tree? Maybe somebody from California or something like that. I don't know. But, I'm going to take cut these strings off and use them as display pieces. That's why they're sitting here. I got to put them away. Okay, so now, oh, I got spoons from my coffee station. These little spoons when I make my coffee. Um, and then I got these. And I pick these up every now and then. I used one last night. I got, this size is, oh, wait, nine cups, so 72 fluid ounces. And this one is 12 cups, 96 fluid ounces. And they came with the lids. I used one last night. I got two of each, right? And um, I like these just so I can have a salad. And if I take it with me, I don't have to worry about bringing a bowl back, you know, type thing. Then I got some paper plates that I like to keep. They have, they come 10 in a pack. I like to keep these in the house just for one of those nights that I don't feel like doing nothing. And then I got three of these. This is glass on this little thing. I'm a DIY and make a stand for these. And then I thought, if I take this out of here and find some foam and paint the foam or something that look like dirt, I can put these in each one. I got three of them. I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know if that's going to happen. We will see. But I'm going to use them for some type of DIY before the holidays. Okay, Walmart. Yo, this to me is the best bang for your buck. I like powdered creamer. This tastes better than that other one. The name brand, what is it? Cream Mates or something? I don't know. I like this. It is huge. It's 60 ounces. So it's 3 pounds, 12 ounces. It lasts a lifetime. And I got two of these. One to put away. I'm going to put it in the laundry room stacked in there. And then I got, I'm finishing up. I have maybe about a quarter of one left. So both of them will go in there until I'm ready and I can grab it out. These cost $5 and some cent for three pounds, over three pounds. Not bad. And then back to this Walmart stuff. I got more spices. Orange peel, right? Dried orange peel. Because you never, you always need some lem, uh, orange zest or some lemon zest, right? Got some ground turmeric. And these were... A little more expensive like they were they cost a couple dollars this i got more lemon pe pepper from walmart and forgot <laughs> so i got three things of lemon pepper down then this is what i like this is my complete seasoning that i usually use it is morton's nature seasoning when i tell y'all it's a seasoning blend of everything that you normally would put in your garlic your pepper your onions your everything and it does have salt in it um yes it's three for a quarter teaspoon is three point um, three hundred and ten micrograms or something. Um, but I like it, yo. Because right now I ain't worrying about seasoning and salt. That's something I'm not doing. But if you do, you want to make sure you check that um, you know, salt content for. It. So this is a form of this sort of. Uh, this I like a lot better. But this one when I was stuck and I couldn't find this in Texas. I was, um, cause this, I just start finding it at Walmart, just start finding it maybe a year ago, but I was buying this from Dollar Tree. Um, cause it gives you kind of the same effect. All right. This is what I started to tell y'all working on my coffee bar. I got caramel syrup. It's not sugar free. It is, it's not car. You know, it is 27 grams of carbs for two tablespoons. I use a teaspoon in my coffee. Okay, so that's why I went on ahead and got it. I couldn't find sugar-free. This is the chocolate, and it's zero sugar. So what's the carbs in this? Two grams for how many? For one tablespoon. Two grams for one tablespoon. So it's not bad, right? I'm working. Is winter, fall coming? Not winter yet. Well, let's not call that in yet. Oh, this I got from Dollar Tree, too. Y'all just mix it. One of them, a caramel macchiato. One of these in your hot, hot, hot coffee, and this. You need no sugar. You use a little bit. Did, did you all hear me go deep down south when I say sugar? <laughs> Where Who is she? I said, you need no sugar. I went deep down south. And I'm a Jersey girl. Where'd that come from? But these two, these right here, caramel cream, and about two teaspoons of this. And say goodbye to uh, Starbucks. Mark my word. Well, I'm diabetic. I don't have a high sugar taste. So, 
if you have a high sugar taste, you might need a little sugar. But me, or drop two of these in and a little bit of that. But I don't like a lot of sugar. Ground pepper. And I just used, opened this last night, too. Love it. Have to have it in my life. Y'all, everything and more. You can use this. This says salad supreme seasoning. Y'all, when I tell you you can use it on your pasta salads, look at that. I made pasta salad, and I showed y'all this before. But you can use this on anything. Sugar Honey told me she put it on her fish. I love it on fish. I love it on all seafood. It is delicious. Oh, my goodness. It is so good. Yes. Y'all, check this out. It's by McCormick. It's called Perfect Pinch Salad Supreme Seasoning. Oh, my word. Delicious. And then I got this because my friend Jay, she told me, I ordered this from Amazon. Look at this big old thing I got. <laughs> That's what I saw. And it was like uh, a six ounce or something like that for six dollars and some cent. Or either this 25 ounce for ten dollars and something cent. I was like, just give it all to me. Y'all, it is, you like lemon pepper? Do yourself a favor. I said to myself, I'm going to mix it. And I mixed it on my seafood last night. It was delicious. Very, very citrusy. Very citrusy and flavorful. Really good. Um, I like this a lot. And this is this brand again. B-A-D-I-A. -I, I did not see it in Dollar Tree with all Dollar Tree seasonings. However, I did find it on Amazon. So, if you want to try it and get the six ounce, I just went all in and I'm glad I did. Jay Johnson posted this on Facebook and I got it. Um, okay. So then, a couple last things. I got lemon pepper, again, by McCormick. Spent a lot of money for it. I could kick myself. And then um, these two teas. Y'all, this is Twinnings by the company Twinnings. This is $4 and some cent at, um, at Walmart. However, it's the cold brew, cold infused, so you can infuse your water. This one is strawberry lemon. You get 12 infusers. To infuse your water it makes a nice tea strawberry lemon tea like a flavor enhancer i'm not going to even say it's tea it's like flavors that they put in there and then this one is watermelon mint this is the one i tried first heaven yes you want a good flavor to your water nice ice cold water delicious so i got these i got two of these to go on my uh little drink station over here but that's it y'all that's it. I've been on this here for 17 minutes. Let me click off because I'll, I'll come back on in a little bit and I'll show y'all some of the stuff I'm doing with the uh, framing. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back and I'm up close and personal. I know. But I'm sitting on the floor because I'm working on these frames, this situation. And I showed y'all on a live that I had these. I have bought these from Facebook Marketplace. However, you can get them from Amazon. I'll show them to you in a minute. I also had purchased these for a different project. Some of these black and white prints, right? And I'm going to be putting them in this. So, I'm going to talk to y'all for a second. One thing I wanted to show y'all, I never showed y'all. Look at this. Would you look at her? Is she sitting in all her glory in her matte black? I painted it. This is um, Certified International Napa. Couldn't care less. I got it from the thrift store for like a buck. Y'all, I painted it out matte black. And the, the ginger drawer. Is it gorgeous? I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. So I just sat it here so I can show y'all. And then this I showed you on yesterday's vlog. I'm thinking about doing something with this. It's either going to become my fall tablescape centerpiece or I was thinking about putting it on one of my tables here and just building up, but I don't want to block the TV too much. So I'm going to see how that looks. I'm going to see how it looks. Um, building up this on the coffee table. I'm thinking about it. So, and then I showed y'all these too. These is going to definitely be a part of fall and winter in here. Look at that gray. Um, what are these called, y'all? Uh, I want to say chrysanthemums. Mums. Ain't they? Yeah. Gray. But anyway, all right, let's get started. I'm going to be doing a grid. I do believe, I still think that's where I'm going with this. I found a gorgeous mirror for the bathroom. I'll show that to y'all. Um, it's, I hung it in there right now, but it's gold. It has to be painted. Found it thrifting. 
and I don't think I showed it to y'all yet. On one of my thrift trips, and I never brought it in the house because it was so heavy to carry. Well, I did bring it in, and I'll show y'all. Okay, so this is going to be simple, and I'm not going to make y'all sit here and watch every step I do. However, these are the pictures, the prints that I got. They're on a very heavy card stock. Not bad. Um, however, I paid $7.99 with $10 shipping. You could, no, I paid $8.99 with $10 shipping. You could pay $7.99 with free shipping if you have Prime on Amazon. The person got me. They sell them on both Facebook Marketplace, and so they and then it came in a Prime Prime envelope. So you know they took that sale and put it on Prime, and shipped it for free and mark and made ten more dollars. So here's the um, big Ferris wheel, and um, oh I got it upside down. Yeah, goes that way, right? And then wait, what's this one? This one is like a patio type thing, cafe or patio. Outside setting in Paris. Now, you notice this has like a very slight pink hue. Very, very pale pink. Look at the Eiffel Tower. And street view. Very slight pale. Now, this is what it's going to look like in the frame. I'm going to do this one. Is this come up? I'm going to do the Eiffel Tower. So, put this in. And I got these frames from Dollar Tree. Now, my Dollar Tree, I can never get a bunch of frames at one time. Same size. They don't always have limited stock in, right? So, I ordered them online and had them shipped to the store for free. So, you pay the same exact amount. And you get, I got a dozen. You have to order a 12, though. Look at that. Is that cute? Now, I want to do these three across, three down on the wall in there. If it looks right. I'll, you know, I'm going to show y'all. This does have a hanger, and it also has a stand on here. I'm going to pop these off and just use the hangers and hang them. If I don't do it in there, I'm going to do this. Either in my room, somewhere, this will be done. But at this point, the idea is to have it for that. Okay, so now on this one, here's my backboard. And I'm going to, see this? It came with these. I don't know these folks, right? So I'm going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this down and then I'm going to tape the pictures right on top of it so I can know exactly where it's supposed to go because they have a built-in, um, one second, I'm going to show y'all what I'm doing. One second. They have a built-in, um, whatever that thing is called, y'all. Uh, like the border, what is, what is that called? I don't know. I'll show you in a minute. Matting, matting, old age. I'll tell you. You know the matting that goes around the picture. Okay, so I taped this down so I could use this as a guide. Now, you see the matting that comes with it? Instead of trying to guess where to put it and tape it, you see this? This all is going to be a matting inside of it. What I'm going to do is take the pictures. So I'll use... This one is something like y'all, Mariposa Cuban. Cuban. So I'm gonna tape it right on there. Let me see how this is looking. Yep, perfect though. Okay, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. So anyway, y'all, how are you guys enjoying Vlogmas? I hope you're enjoying it, cause I am. I'm trying to upload a little earlier, and I don't know if that's working out for me. I don't know. Um, I might have to go back to uploading in the evening if it doesn't pick up, because um, the way it goes, okay, look at that, y'all. See how it's going to stay there? And then when I put this on top of it, so put it in the frame, you see, now i got the perfect spot. So I'm going to do that on all of these, and then I'll come back and show y'all after I put them. These here, the other ones, I ain't putting these up yet because I'm not ready to get in that bathroom yet. I got to finish that thing. But, yeah, so, I, again, depending on what, how the, you know, if people, because the, the um, what is it, subscription page, if I put up too early in the morning, by the time people get off of work that normally watch my videos, I'm all the way down the line. 
and they're not no, seeing the video. So I'll see how it's going to work out um, as far as my timing and what I put today. I put up around 2.30, 2 o'clock, a little later than yesterday. So I hope it picks up. I haven't even looked yet. I've been busy running around here. But I'll be right back and I'll show y'all what this, this, this one here is going to look like. Okay, I'm back. I finished. Let me show y'all these first. I did finish up all these. So when I get ready to do them, I'll show y'all. This is like an outside um, balcony view of a building, like the whole side of the building. Yes. I don't even know why I try with this light no more. And here's one. I'll show them all to you when I'm doing it. But I'm still prepping a few things in there. So I ain't ready for that yet. And I want to get that pantry done. Every ounce of energy I have has to go into that, you know? And tonight, which y'all will have already seen this. I don't even know why I mentioned I'm getting ready for the live. I was going to take a nice hot bath, put on my PJs, and do the live in my PJs. <laughs> That's what I was going to do. Yeah, so anyway, y'all saw the rest of them. Now, let me show you. Oh, one of, here's the casualty of ordering online. The glass is broken, this one. Can I go back to Dollar Tree and tell them? Yeah, but am I? No. Now, speaking of broken glass, I had thrifted these two of these right here for $4 and some odd cents. Look how it turned out with those in there. Is that nice? When I got it, after I unwrapped it, I realized one of the pieces of glass was broke. So, I'm just not going to use it. I'm going to pitch it because this is dangerous to leave around with these sharp edges. Um, I don't have a reason to use that. I'll see. I'll keep it maybe for a couple days to see if I can find something. But if I can't find nothing to use that with, it's going in the trash. It might go on my little new thing I got on the bottom. But anyway, look at this. Now, um, I showed y'all on the tour. I'm not doing it right this second. But in the next vlog or two, you'll see exactly where I'm going to put these. Um, or, I'm actually working on a fall look. And I said I wasn't decorating for fall. It's not going to be that much of changes. But the few things that I've got, I am going to maybe try to restyle the table. And like I said, possibly use the tear tray. I do have the addition of that thing that I bought that I possibly might turn into a, a bar cart. I'm going to do a tablescape. And I'm going to be hanging a couple more pieces of flowers. And hopefully my um, pantry will be done. So I'm going to do another little show y'all every little thing all the stuff that little the wrought iron pieces that i've been painting um my roosters that i'm painting i'll show all of y'all y'all all of that where it's gonna go you know where i'm putting it at in the next couple of vlogs so as i get done i'll show you but yeah these will go when i showed the entryway when i showed you the black and white i got i found the space for both of those and these are going to go in the bathroom that's coming too but i got wood to cut for that I got wood to cut for that bathroom. Yeah, cut wood. So that's I'm like I said, it's on the back burner until I get that pantry done. But I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments. And um, I will chit chat with you guys later. Like I said, I got to get ready for this live. It's less. It's about three hours away, and I got to cook. I got to take a bath. I got to cuddle in my PJs. It was raining. So y'all, yesterday it was like seventy nine degrees. Um, in the afternoon when I went out. So I almost put on a long sleeve shirt. And then I, I was glad I didn't when I got out there. It wasn't. that It got muggy after it rained. But it was a nice breeze while it was a little drizzle. So today it rained. I don't know. I know it's chilly in here. I got to turn my air off. But um, outside it's probably muggy. But I'm so ready for fall. I was like, oh, I had a little taste of fall for five minutes yesterday. But yeah. So, I was thinking about going home for the holidays some kind of way, either uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas, going up to Jersey. And then I thought to myself, have you lost your mind? It's cold there. You ain't going through that in November, December. No, you're not doing that to yourself. But, yeah. Anyway, today is my nephew's birthday. So, I'm throwing a happy birthday to him out into the universe because that's this is the nephew that I lost in January. And I miss him so much. And I just wanted to say happy birthday, Aaron. I miss you. Um, I love you with all my heart, and I know the angels are singing happy birthday to you, along with your grandmother, and she's hovering over you, as she always did. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, I'll chit-chat with you guys later. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.